Leader of Opposition in the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly, Dr. Mukul Sangma, today held a press briefing at the conference room of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly in Kandailat Police Bazaar regarding the findings of the report by the Comptroller and Auditor General. You are all aware of the FRBM Act, Meghalaya FRBM Act. The our uh, fiscal fundamentals are strong. It is because over the years we have demonstrated our sense of responsibility as lawmakers, as people who are privileged to be in the hand of affairs of governance. Therefore, by virtue of the realization of our own responsibilities, based on the mandate of the Constitution, over the periods of time, we have come up with a number of initiatives, including legislation to ensure fiscal discipline, the financial discipline, in respect of the spending of scarce resources from the public exchequer. Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2006. Then, what is this act? This act is designed not only for the state of Meghalaya, FRBM Act, you know, both for union government and all the state governments. Because we need to ensure that we, though we may be influenced by external forces or any other forces, the greed, personal greed or whatever, you know, this act will protect the interests of the state, interests of the people. Based on this, the, every government has to uh, prepare and uh, place its uh, budget, uh, you know, statements. The statement will indicate the targets, the different indicators which are required to be achieved to ensure that, yes, we are in the right track, we have not deviated from uh, whatever was required for the government of the day uh, to ensure fulfillment, rather to avoid deviation from the uh, structured mandate as per the law. I question the government. I question the government when they were coming up with this revised target in respect of the fiscal deficit target and the target set in respect of the debt GSDP ratio. It will be quite surprising for you when you when I refer to this. I will refer to uh, this page 13 of this uh, our uh, CAG report, report 1 of 2024. Page 13, table 14. Okay, you can refer it again <coughs> to have the detail. Now here you will see uh, the projected targets for compliance with the provisions of FRBM Act 20, year 200, year 2006. In respect of fiscal deficit, let us confine to only this, because going beyond will again uh, create uh, unnecessary dilution of the main focus where I'm going to actually stress. I will stress only on fiscal deficit and the outstanding liabilities vis-a-vis the GSDP ratio or in other words, the debt GSDP ratio, which I have always referred to whenever I presented the budget and whenever I replied for the uh, post-budget discussion. Now, uh, you look at 2018 and 19 onwards, the fiscal deficit target set, uh, because earlier during our time, before the amendment of the FRBM Act, hmm, the, there was an amendment Subsequent amendment was uh, resorted to by the present government also. And that is what I'm saying. They have uh, amended certain portion in order to create this provision for them to borrow more. You know, borrow more. So they say that, oh, it is allowed. It is allowed. I'm telling you, both government of India have also, to a great extent, have not examined it properly and have agreed. That's why they piggy right on the government of India sometimes. But... Fiscal discipline is a fiscal discipline. If there is a deviation from fiscal discipline, it doesn't mean that uh, only state government may be deviating from the fiscal discipline. It may be union government also is also deviating from the fiscal discipline. Now, let us be really uh, frank on this. Now, what is the target in 1819 in respect of fiscal deficit? 3.25. Hmm. 
okay what is the actual 6.3 huge deviation then if you go by uh, 1920 it is target is 4.35 it has crossed 4 whereas during our time it was 3 we never went beyond 3 in respect of the compliance that was required to be ensured by the government in sync with the Meghalaya FRBM Act 20, uh, 2006. Then you will see uh, the revenue target for uh, 2021 is 5.25. You cannot imagine from 3 you go to 4 then you go to 5. That is what I am referring to as a modus operandi. Then you go to go down again after completing 5.25 uh, target you go down to 4 and that also it's I have never seen it that it is not indicative of a set single target it is 4-4.5 what is this then for 20 to 23 it is 4 let us now get to the debt GSTP ratio now if you are setting your fiscal deficit at 4 point or 4 you need to also understand that this fiscal deficit have will have naturally and automatically a bearing on the debt GSTP ratio it cannot be calculated in isolation it has you know the influence over each other if you are borrowing and your uh, total asset is X, your debt and GSDP ratio will naturally change. So you look at when they have set the target of debt GSDP ratio at 28. Now it is 28 for 1819, 28 for 1920, 20, yeah, 28 for 2021, 28 for 21, 22. The target set for achieving this debt GSTP ratio or otherwise the outstanding liabilities is to GSTP ratio is fixed at same target 28 28 28 20 but your fiscal deficit target is in variation total borrowing out of the total borrowing for that particular fiscal year out of that total borrowing only 44 percent were used for capital expenditure that means 56 percent is out of the total borrowing 56 percent was utilized to service the repayment of the principal and interest payment of the borrowing earlier borrowing so you will go on increasing this repayment by borrowing that means to repay the principal amount and interest you are borrowing already so where do you you know how do you how do you reconcile with the situation if you want to get out of the debt trap